Good evening from Jakarta. It is a travel day. I can't believe it, Kelly. Here we go. Here we go. The big international flights. And we're here at Terminal 3, the international airport here. And we are heading to America. Woo. We'll be in America for about a month or so. Uh, just traveling around. We're going to start in the Midwest. We're going to end up in Alaska. More on Alaska and you know future videos. But some big surprises that way. Uh, but we are here. Uh, our flight leaves at midnight. It is now 10 p.m. So what I'm going to do is, uh, right as we enter, I'm going to start a timer on my watch to see exactly how long this takes. So just generically, we have an eight-hour flight to Dubai, a four-hour layover, yep. and then a 15-hour flight to Chicago, and then an hour-long bus ride out of O'Hare to get to where your mom is going to pick us up yeah. in Rockford. So we so want to show you what it's like. What it looks like, at a minimum, 27 hours of travel with Satu Dua Tiga kids. Yeah. All right, three, three kids, kids, 27 hours. The watch starts now, all okay. right? We'll check in at different landmarks <laughs> on this journey. Yeah. But okay, first things first, we gotta go in. I gotta put the camera down. We gotta get the bag scanned uh, and get our to our uh, Emirates Airlines uh, terminal here. All right, camera going away. No problem there, that's just a quick scan. So to go through actual customs, that's on the other side of getting our tickets. In this green bag, we actually have a variety of Indonesian snacks that will sample in a variety of lounges and some of these uh, air, longer airplane rides that we're gonna take. Uh, these came from when we did a collaboration video with Yudo over on his channel. Uh, a link to that video in the description, we ate I think it's got to be Indonesian's spiciest noodles. Oh man, it was amazing. The kids hung yeah. in there for some of them. It was a like pretty... Level five, level Yeah, seven. yeah, no doubt. It was a pretty Straight epic up. experience. So, okay, but either way, here we are. Now we got to figure out this whole Emirates thing. Uh, where are we? It said B. There are some huge queues there. Hopefully that's not us. It doesn't look like it. So we'll keep uh, hunting for the Emirates check-in. We already checked in online, but they won't issue your boarding passes. So that's some of the some of the things you have to deal with. In terms of masks, nobody's wearing them anymore. That's long, long done. We've gone away with, thank goodness. So we'll keep looking here for Emirates. Oh, I think I might've found it. Okay. So the queue for Emirates, eh, medium. Medium, yeah, not too bad. But either way, we'll get through all this, get our tickets, head to Dubai. Now we are wrapping up a trip through Java from Surabaya now to Jakarta, a few days in Jakarta, now to America, Midwest for about a week, and then up to Alaska. So the bag situation, these are all carry-on sizes. So we are checking no baggage here. That's my bag, Kelly's bag, Granite's, Cedars, some carry-on stuff. Hey bud, how are you feeling? Are you gonna sleep on this plane? Forrest, uh, part of the big thrill of flying is that Forrest gets to pick his own outfit. And is this Iron Man? Is this Spider-Man? Is this Superman? Who is this? Hulk. It's the Hulk, yeah. I got homeboy Hulk here with us, so good times. But yeah, these bags, um, our kind of MO nowadays is no check baggage. So we spent the last 10 days train rides maneuvering through java all with carry-ons it's just more mobile it's a lot faster a place like dubai if that was our final destinations i would check all these bags because emirates airlines is so fast but when you get into places like chicago or hair it's just it's occasionally oh, horribly slow notoriously slow every single time we've been so um no check bags and again yeah. it's just a better way to go so uh everyone's down to their last clean shirts after this 10 days. Yeah, I'm not sure how clean they are. Yeah, they're pseudo the, clean. The, yes, they're yes. Passable. The cleanest right dirty shirts, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Okay, mister, out of water. So I'll refill it. Yeah, we'll go get yeah. something. Thank you, big boy. Okay, so this is the pre-check-in, need the boarding pass line here. But yeah, you see some big old suitcases in this line. No way, not for fast family travel. Nope, you gotta yeah, it's got to be on our backs. So, all right. Uh, if you want a kind of a shakedown of the gear, 
we've done some videos like that. I'll link to at least one of those right here. Uh, all along this route, we'll certainly give you tips how we manage it. Uh, we have also created some other traveling with kids overseas videos. Granted, big tip for any sort of international traveler that's uh, 11 years old. Um, plug in like your headphones and all that for you. Oh yeah, charge your device. Yeah, have devices charged. Yes. Cool, you got a book. Yes, I have two. And two books ball. and a tennis ball. Yeah, good call. Cedar, any tips for the fellow nine-year-old travelers out there? Bring snacks. Ah, yes, yes, a variety of snacks. So we have the Indonesian snacks that we'll try. We have uh, just some random stuff we grab from one of the stores here in Jakarta in the Grand Indonesian Mall. Kelly, mom tips? Mom tips. With with this age group now? With this age group, have a spare change of clothes. Yeah, yeah, you still, even with a four-year-old. Even with a little guy. And uh, I switched to a Kindle on this trip, and I am loving it, so carrying one device with many books instead of many books on my trip and noise counseling ham headphones yep yeah yeah dad tips out there i've got all the documents uh all in one place much faster to grab it all so instead of everyone doing their own thing i i got all that so okay well camera's gonna rest for a minute while we weave through this getting tickets boarding passes should yeah. be no problem no I don't should be so. no problem all right, tickets, no problem. Uh, we got all of our carry-on bags. Now, I will say, we had no problem with all of the carry-ons. You can kind of see the posse here and how the whole thing works. The guy next to us, I heard him ask the guy in line next to us to weigh his carry-on bag. Now, these are definitely over seven kg. So, I, I mean, had that been the case, we would have had to like majorly shuffle because like computers are in bags. That would have had to have been checked if they Daddy. caught us on the way. Yeah, bud. I'm ready to cut. I saw you. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Is that good times? Yeah. All right. So anyway, uh, luck of the draw, I suppose. But we've never had any sort of problem where somebody has stopped us to say, hey, those are too heavy. They need to go under the plane. So lucky that way. Uh, but now we get the we opportunity to buy food, snacks, all that good stuff. But we're, we're good. We're content that way. We will grab all the baggage, head on through security. Got through security, no problem. Now we have discovered the one real disadvantage of only carry-ons, no check baggage. And Kelly, what's going on here? They took my cage of monies. They sure, and, and your sample. Yeah, that's the worst part. So. Uh, they oh, they went over the limit yeah, of liquids we that were allowed and they were in my bag. Yeah, we weren't really thinking about the limit that, what is it like? 300 milligrams or whatever it I might be. Remember, it's, yeah. Either way, we had full bottles of the ketchup. My knees, the sambal to take back to the US. And, and I have the an Indonesian feast, the, and now it's gone. The security guard said no go on that. Now, Forrest, what's going on with you, buddy? I said big, really big m and and big soda and big beer. Well, that can only mean one thing. It's uh, we're walking past duty free duty for all free. that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, so here's a weird thing. Uh, Priority Pass Lounge here in Terminal 3, it says the lounge closes at 6 p.m. So I don't know if that's actually right or not. It's 10.45 p.m. right now. So if we can find the lounge and it's open, we'll go in. But according to the app, the, la the one lounge you're eligible for here in Terminal 3 is, in fact, closed for the Sky evening. Lounge. It is the Sky Lounge. We've never made it in there. It's all, I don't know cannot why. connect. I don't know we've missed the timing of it or it was closed for renovation or this is a brand new area of the Jakarta airport so it's slowly like every time we go through here it's something new is open yeah yes yeah, yeah I mean there's so much it was the first time here they didn't even have air conditioning oh, <laughs> was I so forgot about that now I remember it's terrible <laughs> now it feels good yeah but you know you can certainly do knickknack shopping touristy stuff if you want any of that but yeah, the lounge, so yeah, Kelly's right. We have had no luck getting into the Sky Lounge. But again, there's Burger King, there's Pizza Hut. There's like a plethora of, of local eats shops, kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. shop. So we have uh, about an hour to kill before we get onto our flights with a waiting area like this. You got the leather loungers, workstation over there, charge ports. Who needs a lounge when you got a spot like this? I will say though, this water on the street, 5,000 rupees. At the airport, 30,000 rupees. So that's uh, that's one big difference. And you 
you have no choice we'll take it yeah i'll take it so anyway we'll sit here now um granite you got a jersey on there you want to tell us a little bit about that I got this jersey when we got the soccer jersey. Okay, so uh, in Sarabaya, what was the night market called, Kel? Kodam. Uh, Kodam. Kodam yeah. night market, yeah. Now that jersey you got, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, 50,000 rupiah. Yeah. So a smoking deal. I want to put your water bottle. And uh, who, what player is it? Holland. Holland, and did you uh, enjoy the, the game, the, the championship game? Yeah. Yeah, what time did you wake up for that? 4 a.m. to watch the game. That was good times. And what was the score? 1-0. One 1-0. One cool. All right, man. So we will sit here. We have now 30 minutes or so. Cedar, yeah. what's going on with your shirt there? A Alaska grown. Alaska grown. Do you think you're the only one in Indonesia wearing an Alaska grown shirt at this moment? Yeah. You could be. Very well could be. You could be. Maybe. But yeah, we'll be uh, heading home this summer for Cedar. Uh, and Granite and all of our family, so that'll be cool. Yeah, bud. Lay backwards. Lay backwards. You just have fun with that, Mr. Buddy. <laughs> all right, getting on the plane here shortly. Oh wait, one more. Also, it's Manchester City versus Chelsea. Ah, okay, okay, cool, man. Man City one. All right, got through. So now we are heading on to a Boeing. Triple seven, so should be a three, four, three seating configuration. Which one? It's not. It's not. Okay. So we have the four middle seats in row 25 and one seat on the left side, so in each. So typically in a situation like Daddy. that, Kelly and I will take the end caps. Yeah, bud. Nana. You're so happy to go see Nana? Yeah. Me too. Kelly's mom, of course, Dr. Nana. So anyway, we'll put the kids in the middle um, and then I'll take H and Kelly will take D and we'll kind of have the kids, like I said, in between. So should be good. Um, yeah, just got a bit of a jam up. Well, that's, that's typical. So one of the things we'll do on these flights is obviously get kids meals for Granite Cedar and Forest, but one special adaptation, and we've talked about this in previous videos, is that we'll get Kelly a special vegan meal. So what happens is I am meal free while Forrest and Kelly have their meals. Then if Forrest needs any sort of assistance, I'm not tied behind a tray here. I can jump up and help out that way. So it's always been a strategy. We continue to use it even though Forrest is four. Uh, it's still a good tip that if you have a younger child, order one adult special meal. So Kelly's got the vegan meal that came out with the kids meals. That way, when the standard meal comes, Kelly will be done with her vegan meal, and then I'll be starting my meal. So one of us is always hands-free when it comes to dealing with any sort of issues that Forrest might be having. Welcome to Dubai, everybody. Grant, how was that flight for you? It's probably the fastest eight-hour plane ride I've ever done. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, again, taking these midnight flights is great because basically you get on board, once you're at altitude, they feed you quickly, and then uh, you fall asleep. So that was a very fast eight hours. Total travel time at this point on my watch has been 10 hours and 27 minutes. So we're moving right along. Now we have four hours here in Dubai. We're gonna head to one of the Priority Pass lounges. There's one that we kind of frequent, so we'll head that way. Uh, there's also restaurants and duty free. What's up, buddy? I was sleeping so much. I was sleeping with you kidding me. I was sleeping in the airplane. I was sleeping with you as was going outside step. So so yeah. much so much sleeping? Oh my goodness. Was that a fun flight for you to go to sleep through? Yeah. Good, now you're ready. We have the big one next. And then we get to see Nana. Woohoo! Okay, well we'll make it through connections. The one thing about the Dubai airport is so big, sometimes it takes forever to get where we're going. Although, now that I see where we are, we drop, they kind of dropped us off right at the main hall. So our walk actually might be quite a bit less. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how was your flight, Cal? Oh, great. I slept just a little <laughs> bit and mostly managed Force's head. Okay. That All was right. his pillow. What <laughs> movie did you watch? Um, I watched a documentary, ooh, about an avalanche. Oh, well, fair enough. Okay, well, we're going to get our focus on here and get to the connections area. There's a yeah. big old fat queue now. So, I don't know what that's about. What movie did you watch? Transylvania. Which one? 
Transylvania. Hotel Transylvania? Was it so funny? Good, I like those movies. They're pretty great. Are you gonna watch Super Pups on the next flight? Yeah. Good times. Welcome to the Alain Lounge. This is a lounge we are very familiar with. Basically, anytime we roll through DXB, we come to this lounge. Uh, why? Because there's a lot of space. It has a cool uh, vibe and the food is excellent. So breakfast time, I've got chana masala, I've got full, I've got some fried potatoes, some banana bread. Granted, you've got the same type of spread. Forrest picked up eggs and sausage. Cedar, how's the breakfast? Really good. Yeah, it's nice. It's a good, it's a good lounge. I mean, we've got three hours now to spend and we'll sit here for probably most of it. Yeah, Forrest. I like hot dogs. You sure do. You're a sausage loving kid. A hot dog sausage kid. Yeah. Now, Kel, lots of edge options. You're going to work your way up there in a minute? Yeah, I'm going to get some coffee and then yep. I'm going to go eat a ton of edge. Yeah, it's, it it's smells delicious. something about being in the Middle East again, right? Yeah. Quite it's nice. Great. Cool. And granite, you're just getting in there, man. Yep. Perfect. Like you haven't lost a beat. Mm -hmm. All, right. <laughs> All right. So this is the look at the Alain Lounge again, Concord B. One of our favorite lounges. We do have access to a few of them, but this is the one we tend to gravitate to. Okay. The kids and I are on a hunt for what, Forrest? Candyland. Candyland. We are going to head to, I can't even see what the name is. Oh, Candy Delicious. Candy Delicious. Candy Delicious. Happy. Wow, this is like a kid's dream world, right, Forrest? Yeah. Are you so excited? Yeah. Should we go in and see what there is? Yeah, but there's a big chocolate here. There are some big chocolates, right? Yeah. Check this out. A whole Reese's peanut butter section. Whoa. This is like my dream section. Yeah. Chocolate and peanut butter. A kid in the candy store. Oh, the ever. Kiss Whoa! Ever. Hershey Kiss section. Ooh, this would be our grandma's section. Our Nana Twizzlers. Ooh. All right, let's see what these guys found. What did you guys find? Toys. Oh, a little trolley. Little Hershey. You want to get them? Yeah. All right, so we are going to explore. Oh, what would you find? Tall Takis. Uh, you know what? Granite's always finding the spicy, the spicy stuff. Takis are so good. Takis are really good. They do stain your fingers though, right? Yes. Is it worth it? Yes, definitely. It doesn't matter about stained fingers, right? Yes. Oh, wow, it's a whole Taki section. <gasps> Look at, there's the blue one that um, Guga used on his steak. Yeah, I might blue, try blue, green. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna try blue. Wow. I've already had red before. I'm gonna try blue. All right, we're gonna keep working our way. Let's just check out all this stuff. Look at chip section. Oh, cookies as well. But there's also like, oh man, look at all the M&Ms. Whoa. Look at all the M&Ms. What? Oh man, and then here's like the candy candy. Mike and Ike's, Charleston Shoes, Nerds, that one's upside down, all types of stuff. Can we get Nerds? Oh boy, and it's followed by Mommy, Skittles. What'd you find? Airplane. Airplane? Whoa, yeah right, we cannot bring that. Your dad would not be happy about that one. What, what'd you find? You're only into the toys right I now. I A Pac-Man toy game? We're not buying that or that cart. We're getting one little treat for the airplane before it Mom, takes off. Airheads? Oh my gosh, you get one little treat. If that's going to be your one little treat, then that's it. Our own treats? You get one little treat. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. I don't like this. We got to get your dad a surprise. He likes Reese's peanut butter cups. He likes Reese's peanut butter cups and he likes licorice. Should we go back to that section? Yes. Okay, let's go do that. I want to buy this big. Okay, put that in the cart. Not no, here. Not that, not that cart. cart. <laughs> put it here. All right, should we go get your dad something? Yes, Reese's yeah. peanut butter cups. Oh, there is black licorice there, though. Oh, yeah, black licorice for sure. Check, cool. Let's check that one. Ooh, look it. So there's some um, vegan treats. Look at really that. yummy, yummy licorice treats. Oh, I love the red. 
They have this brand, this one. Um, he probably wants this one, but I don't know. Whoa, candy sh shaped sushi? Yeah. That's crazy. Great. Did you see that? Yeah. This one. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, look, it's even on the sushi, uh, a moving sushi thing. Yeah. That is really cute. Wow. What are you going to get? I haven't decided yet. I kind of want, I love licorice, but I kind of want Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, so maybe I'll get those so I can share them with Dad. Okay. Oh boy, this place is like crazy time. All right. I don't know. Do you guys all have your stuff? Yeah. I okay. was thinking we should get a family one. A family tree? And I found jelly beans. <laughs> All right, let's think Jelly about beans this. can be the uh, family one. I think maybe we could get Reese's peanut butter cups for a family because there's usually sure. a lot in there. And then I will get I'll get some uh, red licorice. I'll get red licorice because I don't know we don't ever find licorice. All right, what do we have? Classic red. Oh, there's a blue one. Let's do that. Okay, Cedar, I'm putting this in your cart. All right, now let's head over to the Reese's Peanut Butter section yeah. and then we have to go. Yep. Oh boy. All types of stuff. Mints, gobstoppers. This is like a Willy Wonka paradise in here. Oh boy. Are you guys coming? Yeah, we're just reorganizing the treats on the little cart. Plate. On the little cart? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh boy. What do we got? We have puffs, giant size, dark chocolate, white chocolate, thins, Reese pieces. Oh boy. What's the original? Here's some, what about over here? Maybe something like this? Okay. Those are normal miniatures, or we could get, that looks like a lot. Oh, yes. Or we could just get like two of these. Or if you want a big top. Maybe this one. Okay, let's grab that. And then let's call it quits, because. Yeah. I think I just get a cavity thinking about all this. Huh? <laughs> yes. All right. Are you ready to pay for us? All right. Let's go put that back. Go put that little cart back. Okay, this might be a battle. Oh, here yeah. we go. Put your little. We're not getting that cart, buddy. I am. I'm putting it back. Okay, it's right here. Oh, he saw this thing. Look at this. So you can get your refillables. All types of, and you can get gift packs. So if you're coming through here and you want to get somebody a birthday present, you can you can get, get them this, all this good stuff. Wow. Yep. Okay. What is this called? Candy Licious? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's crazy, right? Okay. Let's go check out and see how much it's going to cost. Yeah. Okay. You want to take a guess? How much do you think that is? Uh. $50? I was thinking about 10 bucks a piece. Yeah. All right. About 50. Mommy! Yeah. I see something. What do you see? Come here. Big lollipops. Whoa. Go over there and show me how big it is compared to your hand. See the Rico ring those up? Whoa. That is bigger than your hand. That whole lollipop is bigger than your hand. I don't even know how we would lick that one. That would be way too much craziness. Oh, that's when we hit him. We got this little stroller. It's just like a, a free thing that the airport offers. And we've been trying to get forced in a free stroller for years. And he refused. Bigger than the regular one. I know. This is going to be crazy, right? Granny, you want to hold this? And... Yep. Okay. Oh, geez. That's a lot of candy. <laughs> so much candy. Do you need a bag for this? No, I think we're good. We got bags. Yeah, we're okay. No bags. We're okay. All right, let's see. Cedar, you want to guess how much it's going to be? We're going to guess 50. Uh, maybe in the 50s or 100s. Of course. Are you breaking it down? Did you say 50 or 100? Yeah. That's a big range. Yeah. Anywhere between 50 and 100. Yeah. i say 50 or lower. Oh, you guys guess you're both right. Look at it. How much is it? 139. Whoa. But that's Durham's, right? Oh, yeah. Indiana. Yeah, Durham. Oh, and that is as much as it is. 
in US dollars, about $50. Oh, yeah. So about a third. Oh, so, okay. yeah, you guys are both right. Cedar said in the hundreds, you said 50. Yep. <laughs> Depends on what currency you're using. 40. True. Ah, 41. Oh, cool. I said yeah. 52, 100. Thank you. It is 41. Oh, man, that's a lot of money for candy. Oh. Yeah. Well, may maybe that'll be our candy stash for the entire summer. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably our quota for the yes. whole summer, right? Oh my gosh. Yes. Can you keep your eyes on Forrest? Right here. Oh, okay, good. I thought I lost him already. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, uh, let's do a D. Thank you. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Woohoo. That is, that's crazy. I don't think we should tell dad the price. No. He will not be supportive of yeah, He can just $40 find out when he edits it, yeah. <laughs> hey, mommy. Hi, you look like you're ready to go tell dad about the surprise. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> wow, she is still finding things that she wants. Yeah, that's too much. All right, let's head on out of here. We're gonna hide that. We'll have to give the big reveal to dad. Yes. So we want to hidden by time we find him. All right. So if you are in the Dubai um, airport, check out Candy Licious. All right. We're, let's go find your dad and we will we'll surprise him. Yes. Dad, check what's inside the bag. Okay. I imagine so. all types of healthy treats. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, what? Blue heat Takis. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. That's I had green no idea. That's, that was my pick. Okay, all right. That's Jesus. for the family Very pick. Not. Okay, family pick. Classic um, red licorice. That's for mom. Okay, that's for mom. That's Nitro Takis. Holy nice. cow, this has got to be me. <laughs> Boom, yeah, black licorice, baby. Oh, Forrest, you picked some Skittles. But look at their giant. Three times bigger. Whoa, three times bigger. Cool. Well, what sweet treats? Is that fun? Yeah, that was pretty fun. Good. That was a uh, bunch of kids in a candy store. Yep. Kids in a candy store. <laughs> Very nice. Wow, what a, an eclectic blend of treats. Hey, yeah. Nice. Speaking right. of treats, guys, should we sample some of our Indonesian yes. snacks since we're here? Yes. Cool. All yeah. right, we'll do it. Let's get set up. All right, so it might appear that we're actually out of the airport at a park, but we are not. We are still in the airport. It's just this whole turf area, picnic tables, there's a little kids playground so cedar is keeping an eye on forest over there just playing away but yeah. we have some treats to try yes yeah these um all came from our time with yudo we had a lot of fun filming on his channel again that link is in the description yeah. check it out we ate mega crazy <laughs> spicy, spicy yeah you see some spice yeah, so spicy noodles spicy noodles but we did grab these snacks and uh so we have uh three different types of krupuk and this is krupuk kulat Kulit. Kulit, which I do believe is uh, cow skin, like a pork rind, but made from beef. We have the pisong, the bananas, and yep. Kelly, what do we got here? This one is a tempeh. So I'll show you what it looks like out of the package in a second, but I uh, got yeah, like a tempeh chip or awesome. tempeh cracker. So two veg and one uh, non-veg. You know what would be really good with this? Coffee. Some sambal. Ah, uh, so sad. That's so sad. Because we would have had a whole bottle right in our carry-on. Yeah, we right had now. it right there in that green bag. They said uh, no go on that. Uh, All right. <laughs> and some ketchup manis. <laughs> yeah. This is true. Okay, well, we're going to get these things opened up. All right, all three bags open. Granite, which one do you want to start with? This one. Okay. This yes, this is the, uh, I believe, beef skin. Go ahead, bud. I only opened a little corner. I heard a crunch. Crunchy, salty. Um, it's crunchy on the outside, but then the inside's like flaky, kind of. Almost like an oh. air bubble. Mm -hmm. It's super light. Mm -hmm. That's beef. Yeah. I mean, certainly like a beef, like a beef pork rind. Honestly, is how I describe it. Does it taste like beef? Yeah. Or does it uh, taste like fried? It tastes like fried, but there's yeah. the salty and there's essence of beef. I would say. Uh huh. A little hamburger in there. Kind of a pork rind texture. Mm. Hi. Oh, how are you guys? So you're, Forrest, you're just in time. Do you want a little one of these beef guys? We just started this one. Let's oh. try this one. Cedar's on to the next one. Hey, jump ahead, but go for it. Yeah. This is the tempeh yeah. chip, Cedar. Come up here. Come up here. Mm. Salty or good? What do you think? Mm. It's like a salty tempeh chip. 
<laughs> really? Well, exactly as described. <laughs> cool. All right, Cal, we'll go try ahead. Knock that one out. Okay, because uh, I'm not going to try that one, the coolie, but I'll try the tempeh. They're really good. Mm. They're good, Cedar, you said? Yes. Okay. Okay. Crunchy, a little bit salty. Almost like a potato chip, but a thick potato chip. Is it is it this is it the same texture, Grant, as the other one? I mean, it's um, flat. It's like um those tempeh chips in the store, but like no like um spicy seasoning. No okay. seasoning, yeah. Lightly salted. Mm -hmm. This this would taste good with it as a dip. Mm -hmm. Like um this would taste good with like uh what's it called? Sambal. Sambal. Sambal, but this <laughs> I forget what it's called. The um. What's it with good goes good with carrots and oh, hummus. cucumbers? Hummus, yeah. yeah. Yes, this one would definitely That's be a, a nice chip. strong hummus chip. It has like you can see the tempeh texture in oh, there. Oh yeah. That's like you can see the soybean right in there. That's good. That's so really yummy. Of the two, I would say I I, I lean towards these beef skins as my good. favorite. But this is good. This is nice. If you're looking mm -hmm. for veg, that's a good option. Mm -hmm. And you're right, they're super like loaded with the uh the tempeh. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Nice. This is good. We have one more banana. Okay. I'm banana. gonna guess it's sweet. Every once in a while you get a banana that's like a more chili. like a plantain. It's mm. more savory. Yeah, like chili. Well. Or salty like potato chip. But this one is crispy so far. I also like the color, which means it's mm. probably not like laden with sugar, so it's more brown, preservatives, which right? is nice. More natural. Mm, that's really good. That has like a caramel -y flavor. That does have a caramel flavor. Mm -hmm. Like that brown palm sugar. Yes. I... You can what taste does, the yeah, banana. Mm -hmm. No, you can't. Well, pisong gula, which is sugar. Oh, yeah. Graham. G Graham. G-A-R-A-M. Graham gula. Maybe that's brown sugar. Yeah, this these are really good. These, these are, are really good. Honestly, I'm not always a huge fan of uh, banana Sweet. chips. Mm -hmm. These but these are good because I, I do think they're natural. I don't think they're loaded with like the preservative, which is why they're so sweet. I think these are dangerous. I could probably eat the whole bag. Yeah. Cedar, do you want to try the banana chip? It's sure. really good. I think you'll like it. Yep. I'll try it. Mmm. Like, it's a little sweet. Um, it does have a banana taste to it. Yeah, yeah. Overpoweringly sweet or just right? Just right. Just right, cool. Yeah. Forrest, you want a banana chip, bud? Banana chip, no. No, no. Or do you want you want one of these? Uh -uh. No. Okay. Well, mm. these are awesome. Yeah. In terms of Indonesian snacks, yum. Yum. All across the board. Yep. Mm -hmm. These are these are really good. And my favorite one are these. Yep. Yeah, those are nice. So excellent. Uh, yeah, I mean, we always try to come on these long international trips with something for these four hour layers. The lounge is yeah. nice. You'll definitely get full, but I don't know. Sometimes you see that salty little A snack. something to get you through it. You won't starve because there's always food and there's always shops, but it's nice to bring your own stuff. This is hour 13, by the way. 13 oh. hours and 27 minutes is where we stand right now. We Let's have show it on the camera. Yeah, yeah. Thir Prove it. Thirteen twenty-seven. <laughs> okay, it's eight thirty. We have about forty. Well, thirty. Yeah, about forty minutes before mm -hmm. we're supposed to board for the fifteen-hour flight. The big dog from Dubai to Chicago. What's going on over here? Oh, oh. By the way, we did get a free. Uh, what do you call these strollers? Uh, these are all over the airport. And Forrest has never wanted one, but I don't know. He's like, I want a stroller. So Cedar, are you having fun being big sister? Yes. Nice. Playing mommies and babies? Yeah. All right, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll spend a little time enjoying the snacks. We got, like I said, 40 minutes. We'll do bathrooms and we'll head over to our gate in just a few minutes. The last big push, we've got the 15 hour flight. You guys ready for this one? Yes. yes. Now it's yeah. interesting because it's totally like daytime. There's not probably gonna be much sleeping. So I think it's gonna be a full on movie fest as we get uh, on board here. So all right, we'll get to our seats here and I'll show you all that in just a minute. All right, we are still on the ground, but we are settled in and now this TV on these bigger 15 hour international flights much better than the uh, short eight hour flight we had. So a newer plane, 
much brighter, more illuminated screen. See there? Yeah. Do you like this much better? Yes. Yeah, much bigger. You're watching the Gru, Rise of Gru. Yes. Minions. Granted, I can see how to train your dragon. Let's see if Kelly has any sort of feedback. Granted. Okay, this is what you're doing. I'm watching movies. She's watching movies. You got snacks down there. Or she's Here's watching um, Clifford the Big Red Dog. I'm watching How to Train Your Dragon 2. Here's Forrest's setup. Yeah. Is it? Are you watching Clifford? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. And you have your octopus? Yeah. And then he's got all his toys. Here's our candy bag, water, his extra clothes, granted stuff. Water, more water. Yeah. And then all of the plugins that we could possibly need. Yep. Yeah. And I'm I'm cruising the documentaries. Grant's already digging into how to train your dragon. Yep. So yeah, cartoons on both sides of me and then Yeah. It's gonna yep. be I, it's gonna be comfortable, right? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I think we're just gonna chill. We have fifteen hours to chill. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping to sleep a little. Yeah. In that fifteen hours, but it's pretty bright out, so I don't know. Pretty bright in Dubai. So who knows how long we'll actually get to sleep on this flight. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Back to these guys. All right. So a real quick seat tour here. So again, I already mentioned the bigger screen. We have your earplugs here, USB port. In fact, Cedar's got a uh, standard plug here, so you can get a universal plug. I'll probably charge my laptop, but also USB, secondary USB there, uh, you know, big pockets, obviously our fold-out tray, let's see if this is, oh, is that not working? Oh, there it goes, yeah. All right, fold-out tray, yeah, great, a much more comfortable airplane on these bigger international flights than uh, the eight-hour flight, so this is, yeah, bigger, much more entertaining, more amenities, good to go. So I'll touch base with you when the snacks and the food and all that rolls out and uh, show you more in detail about how we stagger our meals so you can actually see it in the daylight. One thing I wanted to point out is the seating arrangement. So now this is a 343 just like the other plane but we have the three and the two instead of the four and the one which I prefer this seating much better uh, where we have our own little pocket now so our entire family has a, B, and C there. We have that overhead storage. We've got this overhead storage here. And then it's Cedar and I. So basically anytime anyone needs any sort of assistance or anything, we're all just right here. The people to my right, if they need to go to the bathroom, they go their way, we go our way. So before when it was four and one, I just like, I had those two other people to my right, but they were pinned in. So I always had to like be disrupted if they needed to get out. Kelly felt much further away on this seat, like on this end seat and me way out on the other side. So as a family of five, I'd certainly recommend three and two as a preferred seating method versus four and one. Just my preference. Um, yeah, I, I think it, it makes us more in a, in a pocket, I think, it's better for, for from my perspective. All right, Cedar, what do you think of the kids' meal? Really good. So omelet, fries, what else you got? Oh, yes. Some fruits. Yes. Some yogurt. Yep. Crackers. Bread. Water. A little dessert. Cake. A little cake. Yes. Mm. You got some cheese. Yes. Big beans. A little spinach. So yeah, pretty good spread on the kids' meals. Uh, all three kids just got their meals early. Now usually they bring out Kelly's uh, vegan meal. They haven't done that yet. Uh, but usually it comes right along with the kids, so I anticipate it coming shortly. I will be uh, without a special meal. So again, if someone needs to be agile, that's going to be me. By the time Kelly and the kids are done, it's about the time my meal will show up. So again, it works out pretty well this way. Okay, so we are at our 19 of travel. Now, Cedar, you said you were hungry. Yes. We have snacks up above, but I did remember on these image flights, if you go in between cabins, so like from one economy set to the next in the back end of the plane, there's like these little middle um, food ways. And what'd you find here, Cedar? She gave me some chocolate. Some chocolate? Crackers. Yeah, chocolate crackers. Yeah, I also see bananas. I see like maybe little salty ones. There's apple juice. 
water. So don't forget about the snacks, right? Yes. Cool. Awesome. Hour 22 of flying. How? how 22 hours down. How are you feeling, Granite? Pretty good. Pretty good? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Any uh, advice or tips or anything? Um, maybe bring your own headphones. I was saying bring your own headphones at porch because my headphones don't. And I have to wear these ones and they really hurt your ears. Yeah, you've got the kind of the generic, you've kind of got the generic airphone, uh, airplane ones, they, they, they're not great quality. Yeah. Yeah, so we typically have brought our own in the past, but uh, yeah. just throughout time, they've kind of got broken. Well, don't yeah, yeah using that Bluetooth but, stuff. But yeah. but yeah, for the planes to invest in a good pair for kids, for sure. Kelly, how are your bows doing? Awesome. Are your ears getting sore? Or nope. Doing good. perfect? Yep, nope, they're doing great. Excellent, let's check it with this big dog down here. Morris, how you doing? What are you watching? Super Pups. Super Pups, and do you like your kids' meal? Yeah. Good times? All right. Daddy, yes. I got that cake. Oh, you got a cake? Yummy. Okay, enjoy. Okay. All right, how's your food? Delicious. Nice, excellent. All right, everyone. Well, hour 22 and a half. Going pretty good. Sudo? Yep. You doing good? Yep. What movie are you watching? Beverly, Beverly Hills Troop? Nice, classic from 1989. One of my one of my sister's uh, favorites growing up. Welcome to the USA, everyone. It has been 30 hours and 15 minutes, and we've officially made it. Well, at least in the airport. We still have a couple more steps to do. We have to get through customs. That's always going to be the big one. All of things like our global entry and all that that's expired. So um, we'll do that walk we'll slow us down as we have to wait in longer queues. But either way, we are here. Uh, the timer still continues though because we're going to uh, officially need to get outside. Plus, we still have a bus ride to take uh, that'll also uh, be a few hours. So the journey continues. But either way, we are here. Um, Granite, how was the 15-hour plane ride? Um, it's very long. Very long? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was a long one. It, it definitely felt long this time. That's because we had that midday flight, so it was kind of constantly daylight for the entire flight. Cedar, how was your flight? Good. Mom? Mm -hmm. And there's constant baby crying. Uh, yeah, we, uh, no, it wasn't for us, thankfully, but we, we uh, definitely got a dose of some baby crying. So, all right, well, we will put the camera away until we get through customs, but this is a long journey to the immigration office. All right, everybody, we did it. Woo! Back in America. First time since December 2021. Yeah. So, wow, it's been a long time. Yeah, Forrest. I love being in America. You love being back in America? <laughs> Me too. Now, we are here for not all that long, actually a few short weeks before we're heading back to Indonesia. But we will enjoy the time we have here. All right, we're gonna hit bathrooms and then we're gonna figure out the bus. Oh, wait, right now, time check. 30, mi 30 hours, 51 minutes of travel. It's exhausting. And then about another hour and change on the bus. So we got to figure that out now. Up. All right. The transit. Sounds good. Up we go. First steps in America. Love it. Time check. 31 hours and 20 minutes. Now we just wait here at stall seven for the bus to Rockford, Illinois. The bus ride should only be about an hour. So we're optimistic now with traffic, maybe longer, but the schedule time, one hour and actually four minutes. So here we go. Let's see if we can figure this one out. Pick up. Okay, pickup's at 5.45. All right, so, okay, we have about 20 minutes to wait. We are heading out here shortly, so we have had 31 hours and 51 minutes of travel time. Kids, you hanging in there? Yes. All right, we got these two here. Kelly and Forrest up there. So, yeah, man, this is going to be great. It's, uh, enjoy the... Enjoy the view of Chicago as we work our way over to Rockford. All right, everyone, it has been 33 hours and 10 minutes, but we are officially back in Rockford, Illinois. So we are gonna end the video here. Kelly's mom's just a little bit out. Um, we are excited to spend just a few weeks in the US here before we head back to Indonesia. But guys, how was that huge long time of travel? A long day of travel. Yeah, you survived? Barely, but... We, we all slept at these weird intervals, so now all the uh, crazy jet lag stuff will begin. But yeah, so, Forrest... It's out. 
Yeah, yeah he's gonna. <laughs> he'll have an interesting time tonight when it's actually bedtime. But all right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that look into what it's like to travel with kids, three kids, on 33 hours of international transits and layovers, all the good stuff. But either way, it's totally doable. You can do it. Drop a comment down below if you have a question. We're happy to support you in your journeys overseas as you travel with your own kids. And do like this video, please subscribe, please share with anyone you know who is traveling. And everyone, we will see you in the next episode.